Hello Cancer, welcome to your money career reading for the month of May. This reading is for anyone that has a placement in the sign of Cancer, such as Ascendant, Sun or Moon. Also, please be aware, it's a general reading, take whatever resonates with you and leave the rest behind. In this reading, I'm gonna check what you can expect in your money career area, Cancer the energies that you might find yourself influenced by, developments, alerts, everything that Cancer needs to be aware of when it comes to their money, their career and their money security, so to speak. So, let's have a look, Cancer. Okay, I'm gonna take this also as, and as a general energy for your period, Cancer, you have the Tower and the Moon, which means that unexpected developments might appear all of a sudden on top of any confusion, any misunderstanding, any lack of clarity. It's like you are under the influence of improvement on top of any uncertainty in your money and career area for this period. And then the first card of your reading is six, six of Pentacles in upright position. Second card is Three of Swords in, in a reverse. And then Six of Cups also in an upright position. And wow, you are entering the month with Nine of Cups energy. This is the energy of one that is being completely emotionally satisfied of their own actions, of their own developments, and it's really, really happy. Someone is having their wish come true, Cancer, and May, month of May, be your month when it comes to career, when it comes to making money, making more money, getting clear on everything that it's uncertain for you unexpectedly yeah with a little bit of stress but you might have your wish coming true at the beginning of this period with the support of unexpected events that are coming to improve your financial situation or anything as an illusion as a false belief might crumble down and fall in this period and your intuition also can be very supportive in this time of change for you. But in the month of May, what really appears is that you are the fourth sign that I'm reading in the money area and uh, you have the best energy. Because not only that you have the six of pentacles at the beginning, not only that you have another six, and the number six, it's uh, by itself is prosperity, balance, harmony, and um, good material gains, let's say. But not only that. Seems to me you have all that you need at the beginning of the period. When we, it, when we talk about money and um, material possessions, and you're also making the right judgment in order for you to stay in such balance, in such positive uh, balanced situation overall and this is on top of previous disappointments you're actually making so that with practical decisions with tangible and material you know um, let's say ideas understanding making decisions digging you know the information that you need you actually improving a disappointment from before, something that is actually helping you to get much stronger in your belief system, to improve, to leave negativity, toxicity behind, but it's coming from your practical, tangible approach to things, the right judgment, and you being kind and generous to others is also in the mix of your well-being, so to speak. And this by itself might uh, invoke in your life the appearance of a, of a soulmate, someone that can support you in your professional 
life in your creative approach to your money-making situation, so to speak. Six of Cups is the energy of a soulmate or might indicate the appearance of someone new on the horizon in your professional sector that you have the feeling that you already know. But this is someone that it's um, connected with you on a soul level, so to speak. And it can be quite beneficial because it's coming from your ability to leave negative experience to the past, heal your heart, heal your ability to understand any professional money situation on an emotional level. And you are the agent of this balance. That's what I'm trying to say because you're entering the month with being happy and satisfied from your own doing, from your own action and by material steps, by material decisions, you are stabilizing your overall situation in a very, very beneficial way. The universe is mirroring your action and your successful approach to whatever the situation you find yourself at and it's giving you the opportunity to shake things up in a way to improve even better whatever the case is for you in the month of May and uh, the moon is showing that you using your intuition will always find your right path to success to financial security and so on and so on on top of any lack of clarity and so Cancer. In the middle of May, the planet of expansion, the benefic in astrology, Jupiter is changing signs and it's getting out and this is only true for Cancer rising people. Jupiter is leaving your 10th house of career of recognition in the world and is moving to your 11th house of hopes and dreams of your um, so-called chosen family. This is the area of powerful friends, of people like you that help you and support you in the growth of your dreams, of your wishes becoming a reality. So since 17th of May 2023 up till the middle of May 2024, you're gonna have the support of powerful people, people that are going to help you make your dreams come true, so to speak. Your luck, your fortune is moving to your 11th house. And let's see what else we can add to your reading. Show me everything else that Cancer needs to know when it comes to even better developments and solutions in their career, in their money, in their money making and money security. And so, Tower and the Moon are being clarified by Three of Wands in reverse. Then Six of Pentacles is being clarified by Nine of Swords in reverse. And then Three of Swords in a reverse It's clarified by Queen of Pentacles. And then the Chariot in reverse, and this is your energy, Cancer is clarifying the Six of Cups. And then final outcome for you, the world in a reverse. Maybe if you are planning any trips for uh, especially long distance, maybe May it's not the month for you to undertake such approach cancer, especially up till the middle of the month when we are still going to be under the influence of Mercury retrograde and the shadow period it's literally ending around 30th, 31st of May. So it's not the time for you to go big on uh, traveling. And yet there is much positive developments for you still available. This balance that you are having in your money career area, in your job section, so to speak, it's actually making all of your restlessness, all of your negativity 
uh, and uh, toxicity from before to disappear, to vanish. It's giving you the opportunity to make clear judgments and to go to sleep in bed in a peaceful and a very comfortable mode. There is not much that it's uh, keeping you up at night, so to speak, which talks about a mental relaxation, uh, relaxing of your mind, chilling, cooling down, or meditation, but still, through practical, material steps and decisions, balancing things up and making the right judgment, you actually improving your mental state in terms of nothing is worrying you so much nothing is disturbing your peace and this is beautiful and it's due to your own action emotional decisions whatever you want to uh, use as a engine to get there but you are getting there so to speak and in the center of your reading we have the Queen of Pentacles right on top of your Three of Swords in reverse. And congratulations, because this is the energy of Virgo. And Virgo, if you Cancer are, you Cancers are the first mother of the Zodiac, the mother that loves all. Virgo is the second mother of the Zodiac, the one that takes care of everyone. But you must have taken a really good care of your emotional uh, disappointments, hard aches, so to speak, through good diet, good exercise, you're doing the right thing, so to speak. And also, this is the energy of Virgo that is quite sufficient and successful when it comes to, to keep more money than you spent. This is the energy that helps you to um, increase your financial wealth together with increasing the daycare, the, all the routines that are helping you on a very physical level to support yourself, to be of a help, so to speak. But uh, also on top of the broken heart, it indicates that healing your emotional um, center, so to speak, it's actually one of the best things that you have done or you are doing because it's really making you stabilize it, stabilize not only your physical appearance but it helps you um, support also your uh, income increase the money that you save if you like or if you're undergoing some plan or idea of investment this is the right energy to have before you step into any big new chapter of your life. I don't see such big chapter coming for you in the month of May, to be honest, but uh, it doesn't mean that it's not possible for you to happen because you might have a very strong placement in a sign that is actually having such energy supporting them. And yet, right here, when I explain the soulmate energy of this card, Six of Cups. It's probably you or your previous expression of yourself, you not being in your best, um, let's say, vibration might be one of the reasons why on a karmic level such person is appearing to support you, to humble you, to give you um, emotional support and uh, to protect you in a way from you being not uh, in your best uh, ability to provide this for yourself might be one of the interpretations or to support you on an emotional level because there might be some commotion or something out of bound in your home area cancer it's uh, very much associated with the foundation of one or with the home with their relatives if you like and this might be an external source of support that it's appearing for you in this period to balance this thing for you <coughs> not only that the chariot of uh, 
the chariot in a position of reverse, it's um, also an indication that you might not be quite clear on your next move, so to speak, because some opposing opinions are still taking over and you just cannot decide. And this is preventing you for getting right on spot of what is that you want to do, how to get it, how to move forward. But there might be significant support from a from an external uh, person, I mean, not from your family, so to speak, that can provide you exactly with that much needed clarity in order for you to balance the um, pros and coins for a certain strategy, for example, or for you to get clear on your priority that you want to chase in the month to come. Either way, there is support for you even though some of your expectations might not be met especially or right in the month of May, Cancer. Three of Wands is the card of uh, in upright position of someone that uh, has done certain uh, effort to uh, have a certain expectations to the positive. But uh, in this case, it's like you're not really able to um, recognize what exactly is coming. Is it going to be good or is it going to be bad? How exactly is going to be placed into your life, in your career, in your savings, even if you like? And it's quite understandable because expect the unexpected is the energy of the whole month. Expect any tower of this belief or illusion that you might have still to crumble down for the better, of course, but it will feel shocking to some of you or surprising it's not gonna be so pleasant especially when you also have the moon which is preventing you to see i mean to see with your eyes so to speak exactly the uh clear situation i mean it's a foggy situation it's uncertain situation and after two eclipses <laughs> in the on 20th of uh, april and then uh, 5th and 6th of uh May, depending on where you are, when we have the Scorpio lunar eclipse, it's actually, this is a lot of commotion and, you know, unclarity for all of us, although it's going to be making positive aspects for you in the month of May with any plans or points that you might be having in the sign of Cancer. The event is on the 14th degree in the sign of Scorpio and it's a sister sign for you, Cancer. So expect some support out of this uh, full moon event, so to speak. You might eclipse or get rid of something in your life, the tower, unexpectedly with the eclipse for your highest good, Cancer. And then most likely this energy, since it's presented in your reading, might really turn itself around by external or, or eternal efforts because you still are in a good position to make your dreams come true. Although I advise not to travel so much, especially through the world, the first half of the month. It's how you feel it, actually, but Mercury retrograde one of the misadvantages of such period is, uh, you know, cancelled flights, confusion in the schedule, you know, get the idea. Some ferry boat might not be, you know, like, for example, in Greece, they might be on a strike, the ferry boat uh, people, for example. <laughs> These things that are really not up to you, but still, you have the world in a reverse position, which it, for me is it's an indication on top of the uh nine of cups which is a dream come true a wish come true something that you really want you want this period and you're working on it to improve your finances to improve your job to improve your career your ambition into it if you like you're working on it and you want to see a successful end of a previous heavy cycle but it's it's coming for sure it's aligning with your highest and most precious wish but most likely it's not going to be in the month of May. And yet it's available for you with a little bit extra support and help of the universe, let's say.
cancer you are in a very strong position and congratulations on how you manage to put disappointments behind this is really really benefiting you on a very material tangible monetary level keep it that way and embrace the change that is coming even if it's gonna be taking you a little bit more time to see it really 100% available for you. That's what I have for you in this period. Thank you for your time.